from his low crouching position and he to get a look at what Griffin's got so far. Griffin slightly off balance as jump. Hit him flush. Only catches a guy. Griffin with his forte. Anytime he gets in an exchange, can be even that he finishes. <laughs> happened on the scorecards. Boyce Jones' left hook is like lightning. He's not committing himself with that jab, but uh, he is jab. From that distance. Roy Jones had his Fulkerson. Don't try to reach me. I have an attitude. Each other. A lot of fainting, a lot of fainting. Not too much punching. Left hook. Against the Jones' right. <laughs> Massaging his arms after the first round as well as it me if somewhere in the house There's a scorecard that has Montel Griffin winning the first two rounds Well, there's one right here ends over Muhammad Ali and Fuck said hey Ali was great But he he can't stay back at this like to commit to the jab Because he is so defensive Well, no, no There's a first solid jab that 20 seconds left in round four and no sign that Jones is going to passing minute. And Griffin rakes Jones to the body again. No solid shots to the body. And really winning those rounds. Hit him with a count to right. But and th this this stance by right hand, but he's not there to be hit. That Jones up and under with a left. Ball scoring knock. Jones doesn't want to feel Griffin to the ribcage anymore. Every time he's against the ropes and allows punches, it's scoring points for Griffin. Good left hook by Griffin. Jones nailed him, but Griffin nailed him right back. Out punched him. Jones using right now. And now, got nailed with some pretty solid shots. Enjoy. Special talent. But what he's doing now, I don't know. Griffin backs out. Goes back to work with the left. Jones. Another Griffin. The way he did it, one six. With the right hand and the right shoulder, and then throwing the left hook to. The... And there's again Griffin. His white trunks with black trim. And there's another. He wasn't hurt by the punch. That's for sure. He wasn't. Watch he... this. Lean back. And see, you can see Griffin didn't have. No. Clean, short, little left hook on the inside. He leaned. Any different. Ducks away from the right hand there. There's a left hand. Round in the seventh. Jim, you had to. You had to go and sit down in the neutral corner where they pour water on him. So Montel Griffin got hit with Roy Jones. In line with you, Larry. Numbers when compared to his career. He underestimated Montel Griffin in their first. Time. Montel Griffin. Has a right across the top and then immediately cut. So Montel Griffin nailed him. Indeed, that's true. Shots, many of them to the body. How much does Roy do there? Shooting a blank cap pistol. Jones nailed him pretty good that time. So much of his damage. Sound like much when a fighter moves up from, say, 168. It is lightweight. Big right hand by right hand. And Griffin is hurt. No question about it. Griffin is hurt. Jones looking to finish. Griffin wobbling a little bit. Here's another look, one more time, at the finishing flurry. Oh, there's no question about it, uh, Jim. Jones can get at it. And here's the last canvas to try to take account here. Whether it's voluntary or not, he's going to put his knee on the canvas. And there it is. Knee down. Now there's plenty of one, time. Two. Two. Delivered while Montel Griffin faced against Buster Mathis Jr. This is worse. It's almost the end of a combination. Roy had plenty of time to set himself again, go over to the neutral corner. Now look, he has all the time in the world. He's looking at the guy while he's down. Referee disqualifies the red corner, the winner, and new WBC light heavyweight champion.